everybody out there on Wiper Street. You already know what it is. Salute everybody. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Steve Booster GS. We got another scorecard reaction for you guys, and you already know what it is. Listen, Nasty and Stogie together is good for their careers. It's good for Nasty's career to get the cosign. It's good for Stogie to get a little of the current juice. It's good for SA in general because it's giving them shine and highlighting artists that are phenomenal. That is great for SA and it's great for their careers. This one's for the streets, baby. <laughs> this one's for the streets. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm way more excited about this one uh, because I'm a bar guy. I'm here for the lyrics. I'm not necessarily here for the vibes. I mean, I am, but not here. Right here, right now, this is about the bars. You could, this is one of those dream, like, if you could have any of your two favorite artists put on the same track, who would you be? This is one of those right here. Like, I'm expecting some fast-paced type renegade type flow and beat to come on and then to just, like, set a new bar. There's no way they're going to do as good as I have in my head because the bar has been set so high all week of me just thinking about what this is going to sound like. Do me a favor, go ahead, run that gauntlet, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell notification guy. What comment do I want? What comment do I want? You know what? Ah, I don't know. I think we want to do like, what is your favorite bar? Real shit. I don't even want no kind of spotlight on this one. Listen to the, listen to the words. Let's break the bars down. In the comments below, I want you to put whatever your favorite bar is. Of the entire song was. That's what I want. All right, let's hop into it. I'm done talking. Yo, I'm so hyped for this. Let's fucking go. Stogie T. The butcher coming, nigga. The Titans link up. <laughs> Alright, this was, I'm already way off <laughs> with how fast paced I thought this was going to be. Alright, I'm here for this though. This is that, this is that Godfather shit we were talking about. So we did a little bit of this on the, uh, the Nasty C one. As soon as you hear that voice, she puts you in that smoky room, sitting behind a card table, chips piled up, stogie in the mouth, paws, you know what I'm talking about, cigar, <laughs> and like, puts you right into that type of mood, as soon as you hear her voice. Let's go. So you got the jungle play on words right there, come right, it's called, the song is called Animals, so you got to expect that, but jungle, to talk about the concrete jungle being the streets, uh, as well as the literal jungle, you know what I'm saying, so they already got that starting off. Splitching the pole and bone apart Cause the throne is ours Rock solid, no guitar Watch to never come Stop it! Let's fucking go! Yo, he starts right off So right off the bat uh, We're talking about animals And he kicks right off with the dog Alright, let's bring it down Bar for bar I keep my dog so I ain't gotta bark I keep my dog so I ain't gotta bark He's basically just talking about the goonies Come on man, you already know what it is I shit splitching the pole and bone apart Cause the throne is ours Rock all of that, the entire wordplay right there was sick. Watch to never compare, no was a couple birds in the Ritz Carlton Hotel Lounge. Alright, we got the Noah's Ark imagery coming in. Obviously, two of all the animals. Got a couple of birds. Starts come on man. Come on, man. We're here for it. Bring bring that old thing back. Fuck it. I shit split in the pole and bone apart Cause the throne is ours Rock solid, no guitar Watch to never compare Noah's Ark A couple birds in the Ritz Carlton Hotel Lounge But one swallow don't make a summer We from the ground Alright, we got the swallow too Shout out our folks drowning from lone sharks Stogie T, the last hope Africa's golden child Separate the sheep from the goats Yeah, they know it now Yo! <laughs> Let's go! Bro, right there. You gotta separate the sheeps from the goats, man. <laughs> what is this verse? 
My guy, what is this verse? Hotel lounge, but one swallow don't make a summer. We from the ground had to go without our folks drowning from lone sharks. Stokey T, the last hope, Africa's golden child. Separate the sheep from the goats, yeah, they know it now. <laughs> Fuck a hand out, white, give a man a fish. If this pan out, it's fright, tempura, tiger shrimp. Man up, these the better laid plans of mice and men. Pop dead, he. Bro. The fucking animal wordplay this entire time. Let's fucking go. If this pan out, this fright tempura tiger shrimp. Man up, these the better laid plans of mice and men. Pop dead, he was Bible Daniel in the lion's den. Mama said sirens, the reminder of the riflemen. And real niggas going away in the panda bear. I'm Gorilla Caesar, ringleader Alexander Bell. In street speak, you either get the oyster or the shell. T. Yo. Yo. Stogie, that might have been a perfect verse. That might have been a perfect verse from start to finish. Yo, my guy. I'll tell you what, too. As much as I'm a Stogie fan, too, Benny will bring it out of you. Benny will make you step your game up. He knew he wasn't getting away with the same level. Like, if you're and this is no disrespect intended, but if you're dropping a Nasty C and a Benny the Butcher verse on the same day, you know the pressure is entirely different to showing up to a Benny verse or showing up to a Nasty verse. And again, that was more of a vibe. There's no slight to Nasty C. I fucks with the young bull. He's a superstar in the making. But something about Benny's pen game, bro, like, it breeds it breeds them different, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. All right, let's bring his half back. Our folks drowning from lone sharks. Oh, sharks. Stokey T, the last hope, Africa's golden child. Separate the sheep from the goats, yeah, they know it now. Was talk, fuck a hand out, white, give a man a fish. If this pan out, this fright, tempura, tiger shrimp, man. Yo, that didn't even catch that the first time. Sheep from the goats, yeah, they know it now. Was talk, fuck a hand out, white, give a man a fish. If I was told fuck a hand out but might give a man a fish and then that plays into the tiger shrimp play. Yo, Stoke, this might actually be a perfect verse. This pan out, this fried tempura tiger shrimp. Man ah. up, these the better laid plans of mice and men. Pop dead, he was Bible Daniel in the lion's den. Mama said sirens, the reminder of the rifle men. And real niggas going away in the panda bear. I'm Gorilla Caesar, ringleader Alexander Bell. In street speak, you either get the oyster or the shell. I need that same energy, my guy. I need that same energy. <laughs> Yo, this hook is fire as shit. Who is this? Who is this on the hook? She needs to get her name in the title. She's the transition between verses, bro. She sets the mood so good. This hook is fire. That nigga's Bobby saw. Semi auto wrapped in Cavalli cloth. Tattoos on my body cause trap look like a zombie yard. My Let's fucking go! <laughs> Let's fucking go! You got me spitting everywhere and shit. Yo, Benny's a fucking problem. Benny's a problem. I told you this was for the streets before we even started. I told you this one was for the streets. That nigga's Bobby saw. Send me auto wrapped in Cavalli cloth. Tattoos on my body parts. Trap look like a zombie yard. My last two projects demolished straw. I got it all. Everything these rappers got us set bodyguards. Except. I got it all. Everything these rappers got except bodyguards. The last two projects demolished straw. I got it all. Everything these rappers got except bodyguards. Except from corrections, nigga. Drug money, I invested with it. My best decision, cause I finessed this business. But nah, I know you ain't expected, did you? Respect it. I've been quarantined and closing deals. Y'all been Netflix binging. Asking when I'm trying. Yo, plus not only that, yo, I've never taken my headphones off while doing a reaction since doing this. They got my headphones off twice already. That's got to be some kind of record. Yo, the fact of how real that is, like the realness of that bar, that's insane. Not only is it timely, we're all in quarantine, so many people aren't doing nothing, and the fact that he's out here producing music to this caliber, but this is 100% networking. You don't get 
the U.S. and South Africa together without fucking networking. Like, bro, that was a heavy-ass bar. That was a heavy-ass bar. Invested with it, my best decision, cause I finessed this business. But nah, I know you ain't expected, did you? Respect it, I've been quarantined and closing deals. Y'all been Netflix binging. Ask me when I'm dropping. Brazil the bad boys, I'm the 89, then it's rhyming. Crazy vibe, but I'm locked in. I'm cool. <laughs> I can be lashing out, but I'm not. Rapping about who I shot, calling rappers out like I'm chopped. Cocaine flow, I bring the trappers out like I'm wop. 40. Call him, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that line was sneaky as shit. Flashing out, but I'm not rapping about who I shot. Calling rappers out like I'm chop. Cocaine flow, I bring the trappers out like I'm wop. 45 foot driveway, backing out in the drop. Uh. If you a loser, then you fail the streets. You don't do well at beef. For real, the 840s hold like 12 a piece. Let's go. simple as simple shit like the basic music theory behind how she's layering her vocals on the hook it just sounds absolutely perfect it sounds fucking beautiful let's break it down i'm not gonna waste none of y'all time fan fan yeah we biased target audience yes proper setting everywhere nah this is the streets I'll tell you what, Benny and Doki get together, the streets win. That's that's it. Ghost Rider, nah. Nah, I ain't getting none of that. Bars of lyrics, bro. How is it not a 25? What could you have done better? Like, that's how I look at this too, right? Like, I look at it like, what could I have done better? If I was writing this, would I have kept that corny line in there? Would I have kept that cadence in there that didn't really do anything for you is there anything that i could do as a writer as a rapper that would have progressed bro this joint was perfect this is a 25 delivery 25 this is a perfect song 15 the streets needed this 15 i needed this 15 15 10 out of 10 effectiveness 10 out of 10 enjoyability you got 100 i didn't even i did not think this was going to be able to live up to the hype i had to set up bro those fucking verses, that hook, how good is that hook? How good of a song is this? It's not just good verses, it's a good song. Like, even the hook was that good. Like, yo, this was 100. 100 out of 100. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Drop down in the comments below. Don't disagree. Get the fuck off my page if you're disagreeing that this ain't 100. This is y'all hot as shit. Yo, as always, I love y'all. I'll catch y'all on the next one.